Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I bought the four new Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And for anyone that knows me, knows I'm a Makeup Geek Makeup Geek. I do love Marlena's products for Makeup Geek. They are awesome. You will see how well they blend. So I did use three out of the four, but I swatched the fourth, which, oh my gosh, the pigmentation is off the hook. So for today's look, I used the Pink of Me. I can't remember the orange name. Summer Lovin'. How could I forget that? I actually semi-sang? No, not really. Leafing So Soon. So those are the three that I used today. And then the Blew My Mind actually blew my mind. So I swatched it and I had touched other places and it went everywhere. Um, that is one pigmented eyeshadow. Like I had to use a couple of baby wipes to get it off my skin off the hook with the pigmentation. This one is a really light, pretty green. I actually have it swept up underneath here and right about here on the eye. I started out with the pink of me on the upper lid here, and then I used the orange a little bit further down. So I did try to use three of the four colors to kind of come up with this eye look. I did use some other Makeup Geek products. I used the eyeliner that was Makeup Geek. Um, this color called Abracadabra, the cheeks, and yeah, this whole cheek thing, Makeup Geek, and the lips is for Makeup Geek. So, used a lot of Makeup Geek in this look today as I was playing with her new colors. So, if you want to see how these perform or how I came up with the eye look or swatches, you're in the right spot, so stay tuned. Okay, so I sort of got started today on my face. So my eyebrows are the Brow Gal. My foundation is the Born This Way foundation and concealer. So we have Warm Nude and Vanilla. For my lips, I'm using Makeup Geek's Jet Setter, which is a beautiful nude. I did not use the lip liner because it's so awesome. Then for the cheeks, highlighter, etc., I used the Makeup Geek Flawlessly Ever After. This is the Porcelain Princess Face Palette. And who doesn't want to be a porcelain princess on their face? Right? Okay, so today I did... Actually, I received these a couple weeks ago. Just haven't had a chance to play with them. Thank God I had a lot of videos stored up because I've just been going a million miles and I have not filmed in about two weeks. But y'all don't know that because I had a lot of videos stored up. So here are the four new Makeup Geek colors. So we have Pink of Me, Summer Love. Those two I'm going to use today. We also have Blue on My Mind and Leafing So Soon. How freaking cute are those names? I actually think I may be adding in leafing so soon. Mm-hmm. Not sure yet, but contemplating. So, um, we are going to start out with the, I'm not sure yet. I think we're going to start out with pink of me. I just use normal foundation and powder to prep my eyelid. So, nothing special there. And this is a really pretty color. What I love about Makeup Geek is you don't get a lot of fallout. So you haven't heard me tap, tap, tapping. But I'm going to look up close. And I mean, it's great. I didn't tap the brush, but I've got beautiful color that's gone on. And no fallout. I'm so glad she's now in Target's. So more people can see what her products are. If you hadn't seen her online or ordered direct from her, you may not have ever heard of Makeup Geek. A great indie brand, cute little lady that started out as a teacher and decided to teach makeup on YouTube. And in my opinion, has done a fabulous job. I love her products because they're amazing. I basically have Everything that she had available when I could purchase it, I bought. Alright, so now we're going to go into some loving, having so fun. Okay, I don't know that that's even in tune. It's not. And I can't sing. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to take some Summer Lovin' eyeshadow. The other thing I like about Makeup Geek is it is made in the United States. Go USA. So I love the fact that she's very particular and finds companies or manufacturing companies that are good to their employees, clean, safe, and is in the USA. So go Marlena. Okay, so these colors are blending together nicely. How freaking pretty, right? I'm trying to figure out what I, I can do with the blue or the green. So now that you've seen Summer Lovin' and Pink of Me on my lids, I'm going to go ahead and swatch Blue on My Mind. I don't know who's been naming her stuff, but absolutely freaking adorable. So I love this blue color. Very, it's it's gorgeous. Um, maybe I need to use that. Ooh, maybe I need to use that. Look at that. Kapow. So like it stayed on my finger and look how pretty that swatched. Dang it. Maybe I should have done a blue look today. A blue look may be coming. Okay, so let's try leafing so soon. So we'll just do a little swatchy swatch. And leafing so soon is not as powerful as this blue, but a nice light color. I think I know, I may be putting leafing so soon in with this look. Now that I see that it, it, it really does come across as a lighter color, I'm thinking. Holy crud, that blue is pigmented. Ye gads. Let's see how many. We'll use three of the four colors. How about that? So, leafing so soon, we're going to pick up on a clean brush. And we're just kind of going to dab it right there. I have no clue how this look is going to come out. It could come out a total disaster. But we don't know if we don't try. That's just going to be a really, really light, pretty color. And I, I think I like that. I think I like that it's not over the top in your face. I'm going to grab a couple of my other Makeup Geek palettes. So I have this color in that, in a green. The fun part about playing with makeup and not really having a plan is sometimes you'll find that you can come up with an amazing look. And other times, it's a dog. Now, I'm hoping <laughs> whatever, whatever I'm attempting right now does not come out like a dog. But if it does, it's, it's the lack of makeup skills that I have. It has nothing to do with the quality of product. I just saying. All right. So I'm taking some cream here, but cutting this out a bit. So now let's grab some Abracadabra. And I am going to go ahead and spritz my brush because this is a loose pigment. So I do want just a little bit more control with it because I'm not a professional. I pretend to play one on TV. Just kidding. Oh, wow. This is actually greener than the leaf of me. This is a kind of a really neat green. I almost would like to be a mermaid in it. Holy abracadabra. Now let's keep with the eyeshadow. All right, so I'm going to pick up some Makeup Geek browns, and I think we're going to start with this bad boy right here, which is Mocha, right there. And I'm going to pick up a little pencil brush on my Mocha. So taking a bit of a fluffy brush, I'm just going to go over 
that line. Picking up Bada Bing. I am going to pick up the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum and Ocean. Next, I'm going to pick up the Makeup Geek and Espresso. On that pencil brush I had earlier, I'm going to pick up the Bada Bing and go right over the top of the Espresso. On a flat brush there, I'm going to pick up a flap of fluffy Leafing So Soon. I'm going to pick up a color from Mary Kay and it's called Spun Silk. I think I've wore this color for a good 25 years or more. I know, right? It's just, it's a pinkish color, not quite white. But I've always loved it for up underneath the brow bone. Because it's just, it's not in your face white. But it's got just the babiest hint of pink. So when I'm using pinks, it's really kind of nice. Picking back up a blending tool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my first coat of water-resistant mascara, and this is Scuba. I think since I've got it in front of me, I'll use the Pretty Vulgar. I do have some Makeup Geek eyeliner, however, I'm feeling kind of lazy. I actually have all of my Makeup Geek in a really pretty oh bookshelf, and I hate to say I'm too lazy to get up. And I'm on a time crunch. But I am too lazy. And the bad part is, I don't know if you, it picks up in the camera. Hopefully not. But um, I have a hereditary thing where my hand shakes. And man, is my hands not going good today. I was trying to do my gel nails. And I decided to not do a fill. Because... My hands are just too shaky, so I decided I'll do, I just did a color change on my nails, so I guess I'll wait till next weekend to do a fill and hopefully my, whatever's causing my hands to shake will calm down. It really happens when I'm under a lot of stress or anxiety is high, so a lot of times to hide it, I keep my hands moving. So no one notices or if I'm doing a presentation, I may just hold my hands together to kind of keep them still. And I really thought no one else noticed, but I was in Vegas taking care of grandma stuff and my mother-in-law was like, oh my gosh, look at how bad your hands are shaking. So that was like two trips ago and this last trip, um, I was sitting next to my dad. I can't remember if we were at the hospital still or where we were. But anyways, he was he just grabbed my hands and was like, stop. He said, I can't help it. It's hereditary. Nice. I got mascara all up in there. Thank you so much for being with me as I tested these new Makeup Geek. Ma blah, 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 blah. Yeah those. Thank you for being with me again trying to test these new Makeup Geek products. Really love them. The blue though off the hook and pigment. Oh my gosh. I've had to take out two wipes because after I swatched it I got it in a few more spots. They got it in a few more spots. This thing is off the hook so I can't wait to try it but I did like using the other three. Very I mean her her I cannot speak today to save my life one of those days anyways very quality high quality product once again love it hope she continues to put out new pretty colors i enjoyed how they blended they look nice i mean her products are always off the hook great so i hope you did enjoy this video and i'll see you next time